Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here, and I think I'm going to start kind of like a new series called Bro Tips. And in this kind of series, they're going to be just like random videos that I'm going to be posting throughout the next like year. At no specific point in time, once like I find out something like an app or something to do with either the Nexus 7 t Asus tablet or the Samsung Galaxy uh, S2X. I'll post a video and let you know or maybe even anything with like Windows 7 or whatever. So uh, today's bro tip uh, would be to never let your uh, Nexus 7 tablet fully run out of battery. Try to plug it in when it has around uh, 5% left, don't let it drain to like zero or until it fully turns off by itself. Uh, the first time I did this, I didn't really, I think I did this once already and I didn't s seem to have a problem, but I think I might have had some uh, electricity still left in the battery, but this time I think it just like completely drained the battery and when I tried to charge my uh, battery, it was so slow, it went from like 1 to, from 0 to 4% in like an hour and a half. So I thought my battery was broken, so I started doing research on why, uh, why my tablet won't charge. And at first I was having trouble turning it on too, I couldn't get it on. And then I started playing around with it myself and I got it on, but I was noticing it was ch charging very slowly. Um, so I started Googling and trying to find out some information. And I found out other people have been having the same problem. And I found out that the solution is that you can't, for some reason in this, for this battery, you shouldn't drain it completely. Uh, if you do, you're going to have problems charging it after. I've seen people have been charging theirs for 24 hours. Right now, my charging has been going on for 12 hours, and it's at 44, like around 12 hours, and it's at 44%. So it's probably going to be charging for the rest of the day until it reaches the 100%. And if you have this problem, or you, you drain your battery and you plug it in and you can't turn your tablet on, what you want to do is you want to hold your uh, power button for, just keep holding it. Some people say it's like the 30 second uh, power up. But for me, I didn't really have it for, have to hold it for 30 seconds. It was only for around five to 10 seconds for me. And I've noticed some people uh, on this uh, forum right here that I was using they said they only had to hold it for like 20 seconds I didn't really see anyone that had to do it for the full 30 seconds but you want to uh, hold that power button until your tablet turns on uh, so I'll be posting this uh, link to the forum description it's a pretty interesting read you could read through what the guys were talking about here that's gonna be in the description and there's another link that I wanted to include it's about tablet and charging once again. Uh, so it's very important for the tablet, I guess, like the charging is kind of a very fragile area. So you want to make sure that you're using the correct USB that came with uh, the Nexus 7. And you want to make sure that you're using the Nexus 7 charger because this is a very important part. I didn't actually know that there was a difference. The Nexus 7 charger is rated at 2A, where most cell phone chargers deliver a current of less A, or, or of 1A or less, which makes sense because the Nexus 7 has a decently big battery, while our phone, smartphones have a smaller battery, right? So, got to use the specific uh, charger that it came with same thing for your phone use the charger that came with your phone and that's pretty much it for today guys I'm gonna be posting another video later today 
So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave me a like, subscribe. Let me know something in the comments below. See you later.